G'day guys, welcome to Carl Plays and today I'm having a play of Stardew Valley. I know this is a game that came out quite a while ago but I've seen a lot of people playing and it's always looked sort of harkened back to the old days of the Super Nintendo and Nintendo. And not many of you might know about know this about me, but I'm actually a farmer in Australia. So I'm going to have a bloody... I think I should be at least competent, but maybe not the best. We've got Carl, farm name. Hmm. Chris Oval is the name of my actual farm. Favourite thing. Boobs. Obviously. Skin. Summer here. Murky green eyes. Gotta be cat. Hair. Very. Oh shit, a lot of options for the hair. But no. Option for a shaved head. That'll do. Shirt. Yep. Oh yeah. Love a beard. Pair of colour. A bit of a, a bit of a bright green hair colour. Darker sort of brown. Uh, not too dark. Brown. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, cool. Simple plot. Woods. Since I've never played it before, let's go simple farm, shall we? Sweet. Cool, cool, cool. Yo, 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 Santa Claus. That's appropriate. It is Christmas Eve while I record this, and for my very special grandson, an envelope with a purple dot. I want you to have this sealed envelope. Boom. Thank you very much. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. A day's come, grandfather. Stop squeezing your hand and your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. This is cheery. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. <sighs> Thank you, Santa Claus. I mean, pa, with your threatening sword above your fireplace. Is that meant to be 20 years later, XX? <sighs> Yo ya, yo ya. Join us. Thrive, work. Where am I? That guy's been fired. Is that Woody? It's bloody Woody from Toy Story. Why is his tongue coming out all the time? There I am. I'm asleep. <sighs> Look at the size of that CRT monitor. That takes me back to 1998. Holy shit, that guy died at his desk. And every single desk has a security cam. Holy crap, I hope this is a quitting your job simulator. Oh, let's have a look. If you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything, got naked and ran outside. Oh, I mean, and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Cristobal Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honour the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. Love you too, Grandpa. What if Lewis is still alive? Say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Nah, fuck that guy. Alright, we've read that. Now oh, that we're quitting our job, we're done. I still use floppy. This must be set in 1995. Back when hackers was the peak of hacking and technological movie grandeur. 
cruising on the bus. And we've got Stardew Valley, f half a mile. Fucking imperial system. Holy shit. Yo. Robin. Hello, Robin. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. Well, that's lovely. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. Oh, well, I'll follow you then. I didn't want to have a say in the matter. Beautiful. This is Christobal Farm. Whoa, this place is shit. Look at my face. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. Sounds like a euphemism to me. With a little dedication, we'll have it cleaned up in no time. Absolutely, Robin. Let's go inside and see old man Lewis. Tiny. Not big. Ah, oh, here he is. Beautiful moustache. Ah, the new farmer. Bring that moustache nice and close. Lewis! I'm the mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everybody's been asking about you. How would I know everyone's been asking about me? I'm not a psychic, am I, Lewis, you dickhead? Look at your stupid hat and green top. Stuff you, buddy. Shove it up your butt. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. That's the plan. It's a good house. Very rustic. Yeah, rustic is one of those polite words of piece of shit, isn't it, Lewis? Yeah. And you're both being a bit rude if you ask me. Don't listen to her, Carl. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her ask I'll be upgrading, don't you worry. Humph! Robin goes. Fucking redheads. Never trust a redhead. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. I will. The townspeople would appreciate that. Will they? Fucking Lewis, you're a bossy old prick. You fucking, how about you get the fuck off my property? If anything to sell, just place it in this box and I'll come during the night to collect it. There's nothing creepy about that, Lewis. I literally arrived at the town today and now you're telling me you'll come by my house every night to collect things. I don't trust you. If people start going missing, I know who's it gonna be. It's gonna be me and then maybe Lewis. Maybe. Ah, son of a bitch, it's already the next day. I didn't even do anything yesterday. I just sat on a bus and got accosted by an old man. Alright. Move, shift, check. Out of bed. Check. What have I got? Parsnip seeds. New journal entry. You've received 15 parsnip seeds. Thank you, Lewis. You... Introductions, it'd be nice to gesture, be a nice gesture to introduce yourself to 28 people around town. That's a lot of people. If you want to become a farmer, I am a farmer. Insert pictures of me and my cows now. That's what I can do! You have to start with the Use your hoe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To tell the story, then you just see that on the first story to show the crop. Artist. Off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. What's the weather? Welcome to Cozy 5, your number one source for weather and news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be beautiful. It's beautiful. What else have we got? Fortune. Hoo hoo! I see a glimmer with a scrying orb. A shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life real difficult. You know what? Mind your own business. Living off the land. Well, they got welcome to living off the land. Back again with another tip. Y'all, listen up. This one's for all your green ones out there. Chop wood and search for the fire. Alright. Good. Yep. Good. What's this? Decorative bowl. Get rid of it. Sell it. Alright. What am I meant to do? I'm meant to till the land. How do I get rid of this? Oh. There we are. 
Oh, oh, I'm fucking doing it. Let's try to do that. Okay. Not till grass. What do you do with grass? Oh, scythe. There we go. Get out of here, grass. Nobody wanted you. Oh, got mixed seeds. Oh, crap. So then I guess hoe is. How many seeds do we have? 15, so I've got. Wait, what's that? 3, 4, 5. There we go. And now we. Alright, so you can just hold the button down, they're all done. Beautiful. Alright, you know what I'm meant to be doing? Cultivate a harvest. Yep. These bastards. This is going to be the best parsnip that this town's ever seen. And if anybody says otherwise, I'm going to get Mayor Lewis on them. Let's pull out my axe. And let's go and accost a few people. Right here. More material. Okay. Okay. Nothing. We don't have any mail. Oh, this is the cell box. Let's sell some fiber. There we go. Ah, oh, there we go. Cool. They can pay for my rubbish. Daffodil. Bus stop Pelican Town. Well, we've had a quick look at the bus stop. Let's go have a check out of the town. It's only 9.40 a.m. What are we meant to do? We're meant to introduce ourselves to everybody. There's nobody about. Let's go get a drink. <laughs> Never too early for a drink. It's locked. Uh -huh. Well, maybe it is too early for a drink. Never mind. There's a dog. Can we raid people's bins? Maybe not. Yo, kid. Inappropriate conversation with an adult. Hey, so you're the new guy, cool. Alright, sweet, sweet, sweet convo, bro. Yep, sweet. You really won me over with your winning conversation. Oh, what have we got here? Well, uh, Lewis's birthday's on the 7th. Egg festival. Flower dance. Vince, I don't even know who these people are. Alright, let's go in here. Supermarket. Yo. I got five hundred dollars. Oh, fucking that's an expensive apple tree. Damn. Let's buy some more parsnips. Boom. Done. Um. Hello, Pierre. Does that count as meeting you? Pull out my axe again. What's this guy? Oh, yo. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Stardrop Saloon. Salon. Saloon. Oh, that's right. I heard someone here was moving into that old farm. Is that your idea of a... God, you people are hopeless. Mayor Lewis told me you just right. I'm Marnie. Hello, Marnie. Is that it? I sell livestock and animal care products, that's what I want. Let's get some beef into this. Damn, alright. Is that it? Don't know what's up through here. Private residence by the looks of it. You're not good enough friends with Abigail. Not yet. Pierre is a jerk. What the hell is this? Like some altar of yubba. They must be a member of some secret cult. What is this? 
Yo, I'm the new fan mom, Caroline. Hello, Caroline. I think they, my husband ran this the gym. Abigail, she's the pale one with the purple hair. Okay, I don't know. Team Mr. Pierre pains me of the very bad news, but I feel obliged to inform you that recent development, most threatening your livelihood, expand into Pelican Town. It's too late for protest. This was the place I worked. Mr. Uh, as manager of the new, I feel to some degree personally responsible off your position. Oh, so these guys are in bad times. Can I take the cookies? No. I can read their private mail. What's that? Ah, oh, kid. Ah, god damn it. Caroline, what's this? Wait, so it gives me a thing, but I can't do anything. Oh, we'll stuff you then. Oh, that's the pale girl with the purple hair. Right, let's get out of this dump. Okie dokie. into the back. There's nobody in here. You're not good enough friends with Harvey to enter his bedroom. Well, someone should be manning the front desk, you'd think. Why keep getting... Alright, whatever. Stuff you guys. I'm out of here. Bird. Oh, there's Caroline. I've met Caroline. Is this counting his introductions? Seven people. A quarter of the way there. Oh, here's a couple. What's this babe up to? Yo, yo, yo. Hey. Hello, Jody. I'm Jody. I'm Carl. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting to see someone new moves in. Having a farm around could really change things. Oh, I'll change things. Don't you worry about that. You don't talk. You don't want to talk anymore. All right, Jody. Let's take things slow. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. The pleasure is all mine, Evelyn. You can call me Granny if you like. I'd rather not, Evelyn. That seems a bit inappropriate and a bit forward on your behalf. Don't talk to me. I've done my introduction and now you can go get stuff. Steal a daffodil. There's the saw. Um, now what? Now, what's this thing? Okay. No, nothing. Oh, worms. There he goes. Alright. Oh. What's that? You found a lost book. The library's collection has expanded. Well, shit. That's amazing. Is there anything? What's under here? Anything? Nothing. Seashell? Muscle. Clam. Just reading. Can I fish? Surely there's fishing. It's definitely the type of game that looks like this. I'll be back tomorrow. Well, right. No one down the end of that dock either. That pier. So, now what? Oh, what's this? What's this hmm, with 300 pieces of wood, this could be fixed. That's interesting. To, you know, it, it's locked. Only Elliot's friends can enter uninvited. Or well, Elliot seems like a jerk, and I don't care. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, that's Elliot. Wait, are you a man or a woman? You, your portrait looks like a man, but your character looks like a wo woman. You're pansexual, maybe, Elliot. Your name could go either way. Can I enter? Oh, what's this? Another empty... 
traditional tea setting the mayor must be pretty serious about tea. Oh, this must be Lewis's house. It's the mayor's fridge. It's mostly full of milk and iced tea. Oh, God, I don't care. Maybe I can steal? Pelican Town marriage log. After marriage, you may file for divorce here. Woohoohoo! <laughs> Shit! This game takes itself seriously. Alright. Let's go and find someone else to meet. Oh, there's, there's Lewis. Yo, 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 Louis. So, how was your first night in the old cottage? It was fine, thanks for asking, you pervert. Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. You know, it's none of your business, really, is it? What is this? Gravestones. Mona. Mm. Trapped in the goddamn cemetery. Right next to the sewer, that's the lovely place to put your cemetery. What is this, young biddy? Yo! Oh, hello, Haley. You're the new farmer boy, aren't you? I. Oh, yeah, that's. Oh, and I'm Haley. Is that it? Hmm, if it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be cute. You seem a bit superficial, Haley. That's not my style. What's this place? There's a drum set. Who's this? Yo! Yo, stranger, my name's Vincent. Hello, Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. <laughs> and, uh, sometimes, Vincent. Sometimes. Is, why won't Mum not interested in talking? And, Jesus, alright. Have it your way. Oh, hey, yo. Who are you? Sam! Jesus, you got enough gel in your hair, Sam? Yeah, that's it. That's it. What's going on? What are the, what's their mail say? Vincent, C, D, C, B, minus, B minus, no, Vince is a good boy, but he could make do with a hysterectomy. A little more studying. Okay. Close. Close with hysterectomy. Can I go in his bedroom? Not good enough friends with him yet. Door's open, but I can't enter. Can I talk to this bird yet? Yo. Lady. Oh, Okay. Let's get out of this private residence. It's a bit weird just walking into other people's houses. 6.30 p.m. This place is fucking dead anyway. <laughs> cows, 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 cows. Holy oh, shit, how do I get cows? It's locked. My name is 6 p.m. Oh, it's too oh, let's go to the pub. Where was the pub? Where was this way? There is no way through. It looks like you can get through, but you cannot get through. So, I'm starting to think Carl might be a little bit challenged when it comes to jumping over small rocks. Where was this? Here it is, the saloon. Food and spirits. That's what we like to hear. Let's get in there. First, second night in town. Yo, 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 yo. Oi. Oh, fuck you then. Stupid bloody. I'll go behind the bar point. G'day, Pam. Oh, look at that eyeliner. Eyeshadow. Mascara. I don't know what it is. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. Pam. I'd buy you a drink if I could afford it. Pam, I'll buy you a drink. Yeah. Let's, let's get on it. Okay, I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Thanks, Gus. You're a cheerful fella. I think we'll be. I think we'll be good friends. Who's this? G'day, Emily. I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. I love the name Pelican Town. I've always respected pelicans. They can keep so much food in their mouth. You know, an entire fish just batting away. What's not to love? Who's this guy? Uh, Clint. You seem charming, Clint. What's tool? What do you mean by tool? I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Fuck you, Shane. Shane, you're an antisocial dick. And suck a fart for all I care. Hello. This must be weird. Wait. How the frig do I order a drink? 
it's getting late. I'm gonna go check on my farm. I might even plant these parsnips. Oh, it is. It is late. Plant my parsnip seeds. Yep. Go to bed. A successful first day in Pelican Town. I did not hold any fish in my mouth, but perhaps tomorrow. Perhaps tomorrow. Right, what are we doing? Where are we going? Um, no, past steps. How many did I buy? Eight. I've got this lovely pattern going on. So I'm going to hoe. I don't know what I've done. What's that? That's five. Six, seven, eight. Is that all of them? Oh no, i got one left. Oh, I didn't hoe that last bit. Oh, I'll just do that there. We'll put this guy on and then... Yep. Yep. Watering at night time. That way the sun doesn't evaporate all the precious H2O. God, you know, Pelican Town could be in drought for all I know. Like, I'm not fooling around, guys. Done. Let's go to bed. Sweet. Good hard day's work, I'd say. Go for sleep. Yes. Please. Hello, guys. Thanks a lot for watching Stardew Valley. I don't know if I'll keep playing it, but it seems interesting. Um, well, cheers. If you, if you want to see some more Stardew Valley, leave a comment and a like. And please subscribe. Peace.